Question number one. Which standards govern the specifications for supply of residual marine fuels and distillate marine fuels on board merchant ships? The correct answer is ISO 8217 to 2010. Question number two. Crank web deflection readings will give a positive indication of. The correct answer is worn main bearing journals. Question number three. The advantage of tie rods over an engine without tie rods is that the correct answer is the engine is very easily aligned after any misalignment has taken place between different components of the engine. Question number four. The purpose of an air cooler in a supercharging system is to the correct answer is reduce the temperature of the supercharged air in order to increase the density and also to cool down below dew point to remove moisture from air prior entry to the engine. Question number five. Which of the following is an example of a solid bearing? The correct answer is piston pin bushing. Question number six. In comparison to exhaust valves, Intake valves of diesel engines may be fabricated from low alloy steels because the correct answer is intake valves are less affected to the corrosive action of exhaust gases. Question number seven. Why is it essential to renew turbocharger bearings after a preset number of hours of running even if the bearings are in seemingly perfect condition? The correct answer is because they are subject to cyclic loading and are prone to failure due to metal fatigue. Question number 8. Modern marine turbochargers use a type of compressor. The correct answer is radial flow. Question number 9. Which of the following is a disadvantage of water as cooling medium for pistons, when compared to oil? The correct answer is chemical treatment is required. Higher thermal stresses in piston, piston of more complicated design. Question number 10. In a two-stroke marine diesel engine if the O-ring for jacket cooling water sealing is leaking then the correct answer is the water will come out through telltale hole provided between the two O-rings. Question number 11. The lube oil pump used in a diesel engine is a the correct answer is gear pump. Question number 12. The, the coating which is provided on the valve stem of exhaust valves of modern marine diesel engines is of the correct answer is satellite. Question number 13. Which of the following statements is true about slow speed engines? The correct answer is a scavenge fire can lead to a crankcase explosion. A scavenge fire can lead to deformation of diaphragm plate. A scavenge fire can lead to damage to tie rods. Question number 14. For a two stroke engine, two O ring are provided on the liner. The function of the top O-ring is to and function of the lower O-ring is to underscore. The correct answer is seal jacket cooling water, seal scavenge air. Question number 15. Even if there is an oil mist concentration inside a crankcase, and there is also a hot spot, crankcase explosion will only take place when. The correct answer is the hot spot provides the ignition temperature for the oil mist concentration when the oil mist, air mixture is in the flammable range. Question number 16. Some four-stroke engines are fitted with a rotor cap on the cylinder head valves. For what reason? The correct answer is improve the scaling surface function, increase the service time of the exhaust valve in the engine. Question number 17. What do you mean by surge limit of a turbocharger? The correct answer is a line joining all the points of maximum pressure on compressor characteristic curves, drawn at various speeds of operation, maximum RPM limit of T-C, above which surging will start. Question number 18. A, a large, low-speed, main propulsion diesel engine uses sea water to directly cool the The correct answer is scavenging air. Question number 19. Exhaust grouping is required in case of turbocharging in order to. The correct answer is pulse pressure, prevent interference with scavenging of other cylinders. Question number 20. After prolonged operation, 
jerk type fuel pumps wear on the top edge of plunger and edges of spill ports and helix due to erosion by high pressure, fuel as it spills. This wear would result in the correct answer is late start of injection and early end of injection. Question number 21. Labyrinth seal fitted on the back surface of a compressor wheel of a turbocharger. The correct answer is helps to keep the shaft cool by controlled leakage of air. Question number 22. It is a known fact that centrifugal pumps require priming for pumping liquids, as they cannot handle air and will lose suction due to air entry. But on the other hand, T per centi second use centrifugal compressors for supercharging. Which of the following do you think makes a centrifugal compressor to pump air and behave differently than the centrifugal pumps? The correct answer is high speed of rotation, very fine internal clearances and large impeller diameters. Question number 23. In case of two-stroke marine diesel engines, the top part of the liner forming the combustion chamber experiences very high pressure-induced mechanical stresses as well as high thermal stresses. Which of the following is a correctly designed liner for catering both the above stresses? The correct answer is thick top portion to take care of high mechanical stresses while bore. Cooling to reduce thermal gradients. Question number 24. Which of these fuel oil impurities can cause maximum abrasive damage? The correct answer is catalytic fines. Question number 25. In modern marine two-stroke diesel engines, is sometimes used as a coating on the underside of the exhaust valve disc, to reduce the rate of hot corrosion. The correct answer is Inconel. Question number 26. Irregular circumferential wear of liner due to diminishing neutralizing capacity of cylinder oil away from lubricating holes is known as. The correct answer is micro seizure. Question number 27. Which of the following is a reasonable statement about water washing of turbine side of at C? The correct answer is if properly carried out keeping RPM, load, temperature limits and other factors into account. It is quite safe and more effective than solid washing. Question number 28. Which of the following statements correctly describes the phenomenon of surging in a two-stroke crosshead type engine? The correct answer is due to sudden decrease in engine load the turbocharger pressure ratio drops. This causes high pressure downstream of TC in scavenge trunk causing flow reversal of scavenge air. Question number 29. To check the setting of the overspeed trip on a diesel powered generator, you would use a. The correct answer is tachometer. Question number 30. Which of the following specifications, qualities of cylinder oils counter corrosive wear? The correct answer is TBN.